हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई स्टैंड सूरज शर्मा एंड आई विल टीच यू अबाउट द वेरी वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन विच इज ऑलवेज आस्ड बाई द एग्जामिनर इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो फ्रेंड्स देर आर ओनली फोर रिएक्शन एंड अदर नेम रिएक्शन आई विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो फ्रेंड्स द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन इज पर्किन कंडेशन रिएक्शन सेकेंड इज हॉफमेन प्रोमाइंड रिएक्शन एंड द थर्ड इज केयरबल थेमाइन रिएक्शन फोर्थ इज स्कॉटन बॉमेंट रिएक्शन आई विल डिस्कस इट step by step the first reaction is perkin condensation reaction friends this reaction is very very important and this reaction has asked by the examiner in the examination almost 5 to 6 times so friends please prepare it properly so friends now let us start the general method of it and mechanism so friends now perkin reaction Perkin reaction is a method for preparing cinnamic acid. So friends, let us start the general method of it. The general method is by heating benzaldehyde, acetic anhydride, and anhydrous sodium acetate in a flask, feed it with reflux condenser for about eight hours eight at 180 degrees Celsius. So friends, the conclusion of this theory is that. when we are creating cinnamic acid then we will have to take benzaldehyde acetic anhydride and anhydrous sodium acetate in a flask with a flux condenser and heated it 180 degrees celsius and after 8 hours you can find it which is present in the flask so friends this is a reaction of general method for preparing cinnamic acid in which C6H5CHO plus, uh, that is called benzaldehyde and the CH3CO ki hold by so that is called acetic anhydride and in the presence of CH3CWNA that is called sodium acetate and 180 degrees celsius with CH3CWH that is called acetic acid we keep cinnamic acid that is also a product of this reaction C6H5CH double bond CHCWH Uh, with CH3C double that is also called acetic acid. Friends, these are the compounds which are using in Perkin reaction. So let us know about it. C6H5CHO that is called benzaldehyde. C6H5CH double bond CHC double OH that is called cinnamic acid. CH3C double OH that is called acetic acid. and ch3co ki hold by so that is acetic anhydride friends let us start the mechanism of perkin reaction it includes following five steps the first step is formation of the anion of acetic anhydride that is product a the reaction is given below ch3c double o negative that is a acetate ion C H three C O O C O C H three that that is acetic anhydride and arrow we get the product C H three C double O H that is acetic acid and C H two C double O C O C H three that is anhydride and that is it is the major product of this step. This is the second step of Perkin reaction. In this step. addition of product a to benzaldehyde to give product b it means in this step product a reacts with benzaldehyde and we get the product from this step b that is product b let us now about the reaction of it c6h5 c double bond o plus ch2 co o co ch3 that is a product a arrow c6h5ch ch2co o co ch3 that is a addition product and it is the major product of this step friends this is a third step of perkin reaction in this step protonation of product b to give product c proton is given by acetic acid from step first so friends in this step product b gets a proton that is given by the acetic acid and convert into product c the reaction is given below 
C6H5CHO CH2COOCSA that is product B and it reacts with protonation. We get the product C6H5CHOH CH2COOCS3 that is the product C. Friends, this is a fourth step of Perkin reaction. In this step, internal proton transfer in product C followed by elimination of water molecule to produce product D. So friends, in this step, product C <coughs> release of one molecule of water and we get the product C6, H5, C, H, double bond, C, H, C, O, O, C, O, C, S3. That is a product D. Friends, this is a step 5 of Perkin reaction. In this step, hydrolysis of product D gives cinnamic acid. The reaction is given below in which product D reacts with one molecule of water and it is converted into cinnamic acid. That is the final product of Perkin reaction. We get also CH3COOH that is acetic acid. So friends, this is the second reaction according to list. That is Hoffman bromide reaction. In this reaction, amide is heated with bromine and sodium hydroxide solution. So friends, the reaction of Hoffman bromide reaction given below. That is RCONH2 plus Br2 plus 4 and AOH. We get the product as a primary amine. That is R and H2 plus 2 and Br plus 2 H2O. Remember it that Hoffman bromide reaction give us primary amine. This reaction is useful for preparation of amine is called Hoffman bromide reaction or Hoffman degradation of amide. The, re uh, the resultant amine contains one carbon atom less than amide. It means the resultant amine has less than one carbon atom from amide. Now let us start the mechanism of Hoffman bromide reaction. The mechanism of Hoffman bromide reaction is it involves following five steps. The first step is 2 NaOH that is called sodium hydroxide plus Br2 that is called bromine arrow sodium plus OBr negative. It means sodium oxybromide plus NaBr plus H2O.
The second step is RCO NH2 plus O negative Br arrow RCO and HPR plus OH negative. So friends, in second step, hydroxide ion will remove from their group. So friends, the third step is RCONHPR and it reacts with hydroxide ion arrow. It gives a intermediate that is RCON and has two lone pair. And the final is we get product R and CO that is isocyanate. The fourth step is R and CO plus 2 and AOH arrow R and H2 that is the final product of Hoffman bromide reaction that is primary amine plus Na2CO3 that is called sodium carbonate and the fifth step is sodium ion plus bromine ion arrow and ABR that is called sodium bromide. This is the third reaction according to list that is Gabriel thalamide reaction. Thalamide is treated with caustic potash to get potassium thalamide, caustic potash that is KOH. The reaction is given below. Potassium thalamide on heating with alkyl halide gives an alkyl thalamide which on heating with 20% hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid it means HCl this is the molecular formula of hydrochloric acid under pressure gets hydrolysis into a primary amine the reaction is given below that is potassium thalamide reacts with alkyl halide here X belongs to halide group arrow we get and alkyl thalamide with potassium halide So friends, we get an alkyl thalamide. An alkyl thalamide reacts with two molecules of water. Arrow, we get primary amine and thalic acid. The molecular formula of primary amine and thalic acid given in the structure. Different alkyl halide give different primary amine. That is, primary alkyl halide give primary amine. Secondary alkyl halide give secondary amine and the tertiary alkyl halide give tertiary amine. This is a fourth reaction according to list that is benzoylation or squadron bowman reaction. Primary and secondary aliphatic amines can be converted into benzamide derivatives by reacting them with benzoyl chloride in the presence of aqueous base that is NaOH. This reaction is known as squadron bowman reaction. The reaction is given below RNH2 that is primary amine 
plus C6H5COCl that is benzoyl chloride in the presence of H2O and AOH called we get NHCOC6H5 that is a benzoyl So friends, keep understanding, listening and watching the video.